Alright, here we go with a little video about the tank inspector. Just basically uh, like the World of Tanks uh, tank viewer and stuff. Only difference is it also has the armor layouts and stats and stats comparison between two tanks and how equipment and how a crew involves around changing their tank stats. This and I'm going to show you this all in a little video, just a short video to show the. Uh, now this program is currently in beta, it is made by the Smelly River Studio, which are basically a couple of Chinese players that have put together a team of uh, players to make this program. And so far it's pretty decent, it's very good I would say. And just give a shout out to these guys, they have done a really great job. It is still in beta, so if we encounter a bug or two while going through it, Keep that in mind, please. It is a beater. There are always problems that can come up, so just in case. I haven't encountered any problems, so they've done a really great job doing this, and they've got a group, they've got beater testers, they are handing out serials, and we're gonna I'm gonna talk about that in the end of this video. Well, let's get started. Here we go. Waffle Traeger 100 already here. Fully movable 3D model. Zoom in, zoom out. How you can imagine it. There we go. Uh, pretty decent what the uh, tank viewer does too, but we got this. Which is already pretty nice. And this is something that I really want to show you. Because this is something that's already in available on a certain website. But this is something that is not. And it's not available to everyone anyway. So here we go. Equivalent fi uh, thickness, 2480. 248. Now we're going to angle the tank a little bit, like already every good German tanker should do. 400. Hmm. Well, that's different. Now we're going to move the cursor around a little bit. Hmm. That's weird. Haven't seen that in a while. Yes. It shows the armor thickness, equivalent armor thickness depending on how much the armor is angled towards you. Like, think you're currently aiming at this tank. Just think this, th th this is the crosshair of your gun. And it shows you the armor. Obviously, turret has no armor at all. Oh yeah, 20 millimeters of equivalent thickness. Mm, yeah, might even bounce a lot right there. Anyway, that is already nice and cool and really nice to see. What else do we have? We have this little nice feature that highlights every little spot that falls into the category that you choose. For example, 200. Shows you? Yes, 200 is here. No, it's not here. Same here, spaced armor and sh sh shenanigans. It's pretty damn nice because it's just easier to see like that. For tanks like this, it's pretty obvious. There are not really that many options to go with. But there are other tanks that have multi-layered armor and armor all around them and you can't see jack shit because it's just one colored batch and mess. Like this, it's all white and I can see, yep, 200 right here. So, let's just go on. Obviously you can equip different weapons and modules. On the tier 10 there's obviously only the top gun and uh, the usual equipment that you can't change anyway. Different kinds of ammunition for the normal guy, the weird guy that uses AG on a tier 10, and the guy who likes not to be screwed by RNG. Mm, you can equip stuff. Let's see, typical tank destroyer equipment here for an auto loader. There we go. You can use your usual things and consumables. And you can even go as far as to decide what kind of crew is on it, what skills do they have, and if they're dead or not. Right now my commander is dead. Wounded in battle. And it goes all the way down to 50% crew. This is 50% right now. Don't think about this. This is just um, for nothing. This is. I'm pretty sure this is 50%. <laughs> and when you go all the way up, it should be 100%. Because... 
zero zero experience band obviously that's basic training uh, this should be 75 percent I think that's how they did it but I'm not sure anyway this is 100 percent then you can of course get your skills up see camo BIA and whatever else you want they are automatically at 100 percent you can't choose uh, change that and really that's something really really small at the moment you're gonna have to want a 100 percent skill anyway to see what that does nobody really cares what 50 percent does etc etc that's just minor stuff at the moment let's go back to the normal design looks better so but that's not all i talked earlier about stats yeah let's go to the stats there we go firepower scoutability maneuverability economy mobility miscellaneous and survivability all these stats like for example here we go camouflage stationary 15.5 percent basically basically means if you get an enemy tank that has 500 meters view range subtract 15.5 percent of that and then you get where he when he will see you it's pretty decent and now you probably already saw it these little triangles here dedicate to this little reference tank I got here which is the Ekpensi 100 and basically tells you what is better what is worse what is the same on both tanks for example the Ekpensi 100 has uh, six depression while this tank only has five it also has 17 elevation while this has well the waffle trigger has 15 however the waffle trigger is more mobile than the Ekpensi 100 and so on and so forth so you can pretty much just compare single tanks to each other you can quickly change this it automatically refers to tier 10 tank destroyers which is pretty decent this way you can compare it to the tanks that it's supposed to be compared to if i wanted to have something else like for example i want to compare it to the mouse tank there you go instant comparisons Wait, that's not <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do, but all right. Compare the mouse to the VK720. Actually, compare the E100. Oh, there we go. Compare the E100. This is the uh, tech tree. It is really nice and movable. As you can see, it has all tanks that are currently in the game. It uses the tank client's data to get these tanks. So basically you get tanks that aren't in the game officially and can't be can't be used aside from super tester use like the Panzer IV Hydra, Hydra. So you can even compare tanks that are currently in super test and you can get all the data about them and compare them to other tanks of the same tier which is really nice. Not like you wanted to do that, maybe to save some money when they come out finally. Keep in mind though that's like really old data I think. Panzer IV Hydra has been changed all again and again, and it's not coming out anytime soon anyway, for example. Yeah. Now E100, and compare it to the Clan Wars tank that's coming out soon. Oh well, <laughs> that's an easy judgment there. Don't even have to say much about that. Well, obviously, no. Ah, yes, this actually brings me right next to the next topic. So, let's remove this. So you got the view range of 400, which is pretty decent, doesn't really need more. If you need more, you can always get, get the optics, plus 10%, and it actually tells you what it changed. Coded optics, uh, plus 40. Binoculars, plus 100. Uh, Camonet puts it up to 8%, which is actually uh, not bad for a heavy tank. <laughs> uh, large caliber tank gun rammer. rammer. Damage per minute is up to up by 250, reload time is lowered by 2, and so on and so forth. It shows you every single thing. Same goes for cruise guilds. Let's say I want to put camo on my E100 because I've gone batshit crazy and don't like to play the game. Then I can see what it changes. Same goes for Brothers in Arms while you got when you got it on every two little crew member here let's see brothers in arms brothers in arms and then it says 
you get all this and much more. Then we can put vent on and buff it even more. I said, oh yeah, we got vent. Or a vertical stabilizer. And all that changes instantly, no lag, no time in between, no delay. Really nice. You always switch back to see how it looks, what the armor scheme is like. And that's pretty awesome. Um, there's still some stuff that I'd say could be better. Like for example, me as someone who likes to make his own uh, tank skins every now and then, it would be nice to have an option to declare another folder that chooses tank skins when you have them and puts them on the tanks instantly. Because like this, you don't have to start up the game every time when you change the skin of yours. You can easily look at them, configure them. That's something for the models and skinners. You can already change patch packs, uh, packs up here, which currently only one available, the newest one. One is tunes when the test server comes online at the 5th of December, which is in four days. You're probably going to get that and can choose that to see the Japanese tanks. Might be, maybe, we'll see. That's basically it. Uh, you can change some stuff like your tank, uh, wall of tanks folder where the data is taken from. Ah oh, yeah, obviously the game path. Uh, some graphical options and garage options which are pretty, too, pretty cool too. Like you can choose if you want a new tank that you load up here to be stock or elite. Same with crews. Pretty damn decent. You can, this is something, nope, go back, choose a random tank. This is something really nice. Uh, now you can search for tanks too, like for example T110 shows me the three T110 tanks. However, if I only put a T, it doesn't show me anything yet. Just think about how many tanks it would have to load if I only put in T. It's a minor thing, but even then, or even I. Only when I type the S and it gives me all this. It's a minor thing, but it really helps because you probably know the first two letters of the tank you're searching for. Yes, that's basically it. I don't want to spoil all too much of this program because I don't know if there's some kind of NDA or if the uh, producers are cool with me doing this video. Obviously, if they're not, I'm going to take it down instantly because it's their copyright, basically. It's their work and I'm not gonna make a video if they don't want me to. That would be quite dickish. Especially when they do such fine work. It would be nice to have um, modules too for the inexperienced uh, new players. Like this is the Amorak. All of the tank. This is also the Amorak. Here's also an Amorak. I'm kidding, it's not a full Amorak, it only gets hit every single time. Uh, it has a donation too. Now, for the last part, I'm not going to show much more about this now, but there's one more thing. Yes, FTR block, we all love it, don't we? Now, earlier they gave out the email address for Smelly River to get beta keys for access to this program. The access is limited and they're currently trying to get more codes out for everyone who wants to join. I was lucky to get one and I would just like to say send an email to the uh, address here smellyriver.tankinspector at gmail.com. Currently there's no free keys. As soon as there are new uh, keys available people will be invited. Our main reason for that is probably to keep the group of players that can actually access this low before uh, the program is completed. Just to push out, you know, if you if you code something and program something and then push out the program, we want people to see the full release and not some buggy shit happening, which will probably spoil the program for them. So just keep that in mind. It's just going to take a little bit. If you don't get in instantly, just go with it. That's just how it goes. I would do the same if I were in their position. Uh, send an email to them. Maybe you get in, maybe you don't. That's basically it. 
Um, you can donate to them too, if you feel like it. If you get a little bit of extra money lying around, feel free to, because this program is pretty awesome, I have to admit. Even for me, someone who's like, oh, yes, that's all right, I don't care about my win rate there. This is nice. Just knowing what how this changes around is just awesome for me to see. Like, this is standard stuff, but this is already... Hmm. So, while firing in stationary, eh? That's interesting. Just awesome. Alright, that's basically it. If you got any more questions, leave them in the comments uh, or wherever else. Um, 